for some added control you can right click on a value and click on edit value and then that brings this up where you can basically use these drop down menus to um, scale I don't really use this too much I feel like you can do almost the same thing in in uh, the uh, twirl down menu here so that's just a, a new, uh, another way if you're more comfortable that way then be my guest and use it that way and one last way to um, to uh, precisely increase or decrease your scale if you click on your object and hold control on Windows and command on a Mac and press the plus key it will increase by 1% same if you press control and the minus key it will go down by 1% so those are the ways that you can easily uh, scale those are all the ways that I know and they work really well just uh, remember that the hotkey for scale is S and that'll help out a lot so you don't have to go twirling down all the time and now um, animating with scale is pretty much the same as animating with position or opacity so um, you click on the stopwatch here and then I'll move uh, move up to about one second I got it right on one second awesome and just in, say we increase the scale to 150 move to two seconds here somewhere around two two seconds and then we can decrease it back to let's go to 50 great and now you can see that it scales correct it'll just scale up and down just like animating anything else it's pretty easy now you can also go into the negatives in your scale so let's let's go over to this one where we went to negative and I'll hit, uh, I'll hit K or I'll move my current time indicator and hold shift to snap onto the keyframe you know it's on the keyframe when this uh, over here is highlighted so let me move one frame off look it's not highlighted anymore using page up and page down to move by one one frame so now I'm on the correct frame and let's go to negative 50 and watch what happens now it'll flip and rotate you can see that it goes down to nothing and then uh, flips on both axes flips on the X and Y so it's facing the other way and upside down as you can see so let's delete those keyframes if you want to um, set your reset your scale back to 100% without typing in that 100% uh, let's change this down to 50 real quick and it's not at 100% you can go up to the tools panel and make sure your object is selected go up to the tools panel and double click on the arrow and it will reset it back to 100% and those are the basics of scaling it's scaling isn't really too hard it's good for remember it's good to flip on the axis when you go into axis when you go into negatives and just to make your image bigger or smaller and also remember that most of the time you don't want to individually change one of the axis points you want to strain it proportionally so none of this I'm sure if you squeeze the Pepsi logo or the new Boston logo to like this the client won't be too happy so always hold shift and then you can scale proportionally so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial uh, I look forward to seeing you guys at the next one and uh, have a good one